Hey peeps, what up? It's me, Empty Innovation, by the way. And we're back to playing Kingdoms and Castles. As you see, I haven't changed at all. I haven't turned the game off or anything. So we're continuing to play right where we left off. Because I am recording many things at once. <laughs> well, not at once, but like... You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> what were we doing? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Yes. We were getting a wood. Because we need to do things. Where do I want to place that forester? I think I'm gonna place it. Over here. Because over here the place is barren, that means they can't really can't grow anything over here. Yeah, let's make it like like there. That's good. For now, you know. I can always demolish anything. Oh, look at that. We have food. And that's again Tamla. You gotta get used to that, man. I am not. I am not closing. Closing. Mm -hmm. Good English. I'm not closing my, my browser just to record. What do I look like? You don't know. That's the thing. You don't know. Well, perhaps you know. But probably not. I would doubt it. Okay, we have wood, we have stone, we can build cottages. <laughs> I could be mean and just say, let's put... Well, these only hold five, right? Yes. So, those would hold an additional two. Which means... I want to demolish that house. Place a cottage right there. I'm pretty sure I made that facing the road. We need to start building more roads. Like, for the beginning, having a two space is fine. Hmm. If we build a town square, we could throw the festivals. I'm sure the peasants would like that. We could, but we need money to throw festivals. Needs wood of course that needs wood what did i even think like later on you don't need wood like at all like you'll have enough wood because well you get wood continuously from your foresters. Which, by the way, isn't a job. It's probably a timber worker, truth be told. Okay, there we go. Lots of wood. Perfect. Okay, I want to build more cottages. Okay, where's the entrance? It's there. And another one. Let's place one over here. That was dumb. I want to make it symmetrical. Ah, well. That way, right? Yes. Small sinky down. There. Do we have enough for another one? No. It's ten. Have them up? Yes. Ah, we need a lot of workers at the moment. That sucks. Because we don't have a lot of people. Well, if they build much, we'll get more people. I mean, we all have, they have 47 beds. But we'll get more. That's exactly what I want. Yes, oh, by the way, you can see our banner over here. Isn't it nice? 
Ah, yes. What to talk about? You don't know me. I also don't know you. Why don't you tell me about you? Okay, people visited and stayed. I'm sorry, but I want to demolish you. <laughs> Sounds so mean. But I want to place a cottage there. Like cottages, I never get rid of cottages. I never got rid of cottages before, at the very least. By the way, can we build a windmill? No, that costs money. Right, I forgot. That costs money. Get a town square, that will make them happier. Okay. Yeah, we could build a town square, I guess. Ooh, you know what I never did? I never did. I never actually made a town square a town square. Never put it in the middle of something. Because it's only too wide and it's like. Mm. You know, because if it was three wide, that would be really big, but at least it would fit more nicely with the road. So I'm placing it there, yeah, right? So I have room for cottages. Yes, that's my main concern, cottages. There we go. Place more boats. What's up? Hmm. I bet they would enjoy a tavern. Of course they would. But a tavern, I can't afford that at the moment. But we need more wells, don't we? Yes. Okay, let's build a well there. And then can leave a space open. For later. Let me save. Because later on in the advanced town, like a library and a clinic, they only need one space. And they make people happy to have. So, of course, having a single space somewhere is good. I need more stone. What's up with that? Like, see, I'm already in trouble. Yeah, let's build. I just like having them connected with roads because it makes them faster. Build a small stockpile too. I don't think they'll uh, be that fast to need a stockpile. But it's better to have one than not. But how are we doing on food? Pretty okay. Maybe we don't have that many people. We have 78 beds. I see you could throw a festival, but we don't have the money. And we won't get money until we build a treasure room. And we need a lot of stone for that. And a treasure room will mean we can do taxes and via taxes we'll get money. Which is just grand. I kinda wanna make another food thing, you know. Because food, in my opinion, is more important. Ah, yeah, they wanted a tavern, right? Ah, tavern has the same range as a cottage. Could place it over here. There's the stairs, there's the stairs. Let's place it there, yes. Makes them happy. If it makes them happy, you know. I like to save after somewhat major things, like after building a lot of things. My lord, seven people visited, but only six found a home. And decided to stay and serve me. Yes, very good. I'm just gonna let them run around for a bit and drink something. Very good. 
Uh, because I've been talking for half an hour now. Over half an hour. And drinking is important. And I don't drink enough. Fun fact. <laughs> okay. How are we looking? Pretty okay. By the way, when are we allowed to do this? Probably once we have money. Oh wait, I was waiting for money. Come on, one stone. One stone. Yes, there we go. Where's the opening? There it is. This place is right next to our kingdom. Look at that! Oh, keep got bigger. Isn't that great? Okay, because now we can get taxes. And once it's built, it will be released. Why are you so unhappy? Because you don't have charcoal. Of course. Okay, charcoal makers. You can place them. I would say over here. You should make another forest as well. It's your range. Okay. Just further out would be good. Yeah, right there your range ends. Perfect. Our oh, little kingdom. Look at it. Look at it grow. I also like the clouds. Like they're pretty. The cube. But yeah, they're also annoying because for right now we can stay pretty zoomed in. But once our kingdom gets big, you're gonna be like out here, and then the clouds get in the way, and you're like, Ugh, I can't see anything. Okay, how are jobs? Don't need event planners. We need a lot of stuff. Yeah, but currently builders are up in up in the hood. It's fifteen. See there we go, let's down to nine already. Ogadists are getting up. Because food is important. Right now I think food is more important than anything else. Than charcoal and tax collectors. What we need is more people and taxes. Meaning I do need tax collectors. So I'm getting the money. Okay, like later on you can build manners. Okay, where's the opening of this side? I will always need to check that. Uh yeah, sure. I always press escape to get out of menus and stuff and then I'm thrown into that. Do I have enough to build in more? Yes. Okay. So, sorry, but I'm demolishing your homes. We have enough beds for you to not be homeless. But I'm replacing your homes with cottages. Okay. No, our builders are very important again, yeah. Anyways, we're collecting taxes, which is good. Because that means we can build things. So, like a windmill. That's like my top priority at the moment. Because a windmill means more food from the farms, which is good. We also need more granaries. We will need everything. Uh, starting new is so, so much work. And they're using a stockpile, which is good. They put stone and wood on there, like, which is great. By the way, wood. We always need wood. Give me more wood. Currently, our food is doing pretty good. They want charcoal though. 
Like they're unhappy because they don't get charcoal. Like, okay. Two found a home. Okay, let's put charcoal up there. The farmers can continue working somewhat, but we need charcoal to make people happy. I like my little stockpile over here, it's cute. At least for right now I have no stone worries. Like once I start building like the walls, that's gonna be expensive. You don't really need a fire brigade, by the way. They run faster and put out fires faster. Sweet times. What a village. Well, the thing is, I always have wells everywhere. Everywhere. Which reminds me that they need a well. Everywhere. To make the fire risk as low as possible. And that they, everyone has access to water very quickly in case of fire. Because a fire risk is not the only reason there can be a fire. At the moment it is though. No one is coming to cut down that, those fucking trees. I swear to god. Finally, thank you. Oh, we could throw a festival. Oh, but that's a good idea. I mean, yes, it costs 50, but all one, it makes them happy. Which is good, which means they can put up the taxes momentarily. And second, it attracts people. Oh, tragically, one of our peasants has died in the mysterious circumstances. Oh. Okay, the festival is over, let's put the tax rate down again. Right, I wanted to build a mint mill. <gasps> yep, this is the thing I was worried about. A dragon. And we can't do anything against it at the moment. I mean, the dragon won't even be a bother for the moment. Probably just fly over here. I shouldn't have built this fucking tower. I was like in a panic. Like right now, the dragon is just looking. It's like, ho ho, there's a kingdom here now. Oh no. That's bad. Arr. But like, yeah, a dragon it could set fire to us, which is bad. I see it doesn't do anything right now. Hmm. Sire, did you see the dragon? Perhaps we should build some defenses in case it ever decides to return. Yes, I'm doing that right now, binge. Ah, that needs a chamber of war. Okay. And then just build an arch on top. That protects most of the city for the time being. Probably not. See, like a clinic. Sick with plague. Black does want it. Like, we don't need it at the moment. What does that need? Money. Of course. Of course it needs money. What am I thinking? That'll just fall out of the sky? Our kingdom was unable to attract any new residents. Oh yeah, they want a church or library. I mean, I could build you a church. Sure. For once, I have what it takes. Do I want to build in the middle here? Also build it over here. I'm building it over here. Okay, because that will make them happy, and happy people will pay more taxes. Which is... <laughs> nope. I... No, I don't want to load. I want to save. There we go. Oh no! A terrible plague! I should have built a clinic! God damn it. Well, I'm gonna build a clinic soon then. 
you, you get out of that house. We have enough beds for you. Okay, we need one more money. Give me one more money. Thanks. Okay, where's the opening there? There we go. A terrible plague has swept the land. Five peasants are ill now. Oh my god, look at them. They don't have money. They're unhappy. <sighs> An ease from recent plague infections. Oh yeah, I can't do... I can't do anything about that at the moment. How are we doing? Don't eat arches at the moment. Like that's the one, number one thing. I always put those on highest priority. 27 have died of the plague? Oh my god! Okay! We need a cemetery. That costs money. Which I don't have. Okay. Damn. I know you're unhappy. 50 sadness from recent plague deaths. Okay. Damn. But I can't do anything about it at the moment. I need one more money. So I can build a cemetery. That would be swell. One peasant left the kingdom because they're unhappy. Wait, let's build it right next to the church. Okay. I don't think we need that much charcoal at the moment, to be honest. Oh, doctors. Doctors are really important. Put them... Put them up here. So I feel like doctors are really important. Also, I don't know what the colors mean at all. I think like yellow is food and green is happiness. And brownish is like working. I don't know. I have no idea what the colors mean at all. Hmm. Say we are unable to improve conditions. No one will want to live in our kingdom. I know. We have a church now. There are a lot of dead people lying around. But I'm building a cemetery caretaker. And then we have a cemetery. And then we can bury them. He's probably saying I'm not having enough cemetery stone. Needs a lot of money. But that houses the most dead people. Okay, they're pretty happy at the very least. Okay. People visit our kingdom, but nuns are fit to stay. Yeah. It's fine. Let's build another cemetery. Yeah, the tavern, the clinic, I mean. No gold with which to pay doctors. Yeah, yeah. You're getting gold. Calm down. Why do you not have... It's probably clergy, right? Put the clergy's up. No. What? There! Seven clergy's are the church people. Okay, there we go. Need the cemetery caretakers. A terrible plague has swept the land. A festering unburied corpses and can mess with the plague. Wait. Well, I have doctors and I have the cemetery caretakers now. So they are collecting the corpses. And I hope our doctors are doing their jobs. Their jobs. Yes. Anyways. Why is it so small, that one? Can I click on that, that guy? Not anymore. Ah, look at our kingdom. So pretty. I really like the aesthetic of the game. But, with that said, it is time to end this episode. 
Thanks so, so much for watching. Because, I don't know, I haven't seen anyone play this game really. And that's why I decided to play it. Mostly that's why I decided to play it, because, like, the big YouTubers <laughs> that I know of haven't played this game. So I'm playing it, because I can. And I really am really enjoying this game. It's great because it's like strategy, thinking, and also allows, allows you to talk a lot. And I like talking a lot. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I am going to see you, not see you, in the next video. Until then, bye bye.